Notebook LM, recently available to everyone, has rapidly grown in popularity as the leading AI-powered Google app for analyzing, organizing, and for pulling insights from notes, websites, documents, and other resources. Essentially, you now have a tool that will change the way that you engage in research and record complex notes. It's actually mind-blowing how you can interact with and use this AI-powered tool. So today I'm going to share the key features of Notebook LM and how you can get started and up and running in under nine minutes. All right, so with that, let's jump over to my computer and launch into Google's Notebook LM. Now to arrive at Notebook LM, simply head over to your browser and type in notebooklm.google and that's gonna take you here. Then simply navigate over to Try Notebook LM. You will need a free or paid Google account in order to access Notebook LM. And before we create our own notebook and I walk you through the workflow of understanding information with Notebook LM, let's navigate down to Try Example Notebook and quickly break down and understand a notebook interface. Over on the left hand side, you can see all the sources that have been uploaded to this notebook. And you can upload many types of sources from YouTube videos, links, website links, documents from Google Drive, as well as copying and pasting content from different locations directly inside of Notebook LM. This essentially allows you to quickly and effectively reference many sources simultaneously rather than manually jumping between different sources. This will bring all your information together and build an AI driven notebook that will change the way that you consume information. We can also unselect the resources we don't want to use. You can see that from these seven sources, we have an introduction to Notebook LM. Let's navigate down here and type in, what can I actually do with Notebook LM? And that's gonna use AI and the relevant sources to produce a note based on my prompt. And this can give us some ideas of what we can do with Notebook LM. You can see these different sentences have these little bubbles at the end. This shows you the resources that have been referenced and we'll dive into this shortly. And one of the cool things that we can do with the notebook is load a conversation. Maybe you're like me and you prefer to consume information through audio. You can quickly create a podcast style audio that impressively uses AI to summarize and bring together all the resources added on the left hand side. Again, I'll show you this shortly. And then we can also create notes. Okay, so now that we understand the interface of Notebook LM, let's go ahead and create our own notebook. Navigate up to the top left hand corner and click on this icon. And again, for me, I'm using Notebook LM Plus. However, the free version of Notebook LM is sufficient enough for most users. Navigate down and create new. And let's go ahead and add our resources. The first resource I want to add is a website link. Add your link up here. And for the purpose of this notebook, I wanna dive into SEO research for 2025 and understand how I can improve the SEO of one of my small businesses. And today I'll be focusing on that, how you can use Notebook LM to engage in key research for growing your small business. Okay, so this is an SEO based website. Once you've added your link, come down, click on insert, and let's add another resource. And we can add up to 300 sources. This time, I'm going to add a YouTube video. Paste in the YouTube URL here. And this is a YouTube video that shares four steps for ranking number one in 2025 on Google. Okay, so I'm going to add this video resource. And again, navigate up to add source. I'm going to add another YouTube video. Again, add resource. The more relevant resources you add, the better outputs you will receive. Again, I'm going to quickly add a website and this is one of my small business websites. So I want to engage in SEO research, but ensure that my SEO research is relevant to this business. Again, hit insert. And one final resource I want to add is a Google Doc. 25 expert SEO tips for 2025. Click on the document you want to use and hit insert. Now I'm going to change the name of this notebook, SEO actions for Sheetify CRM. I'm engaging in SEO research for this particular small business. Again, similar to what I showed you earlier, I can navigate down here and type in what are the top five SEO actions that Sheetify CRM should engage in this year. And remember, this is going to use AI to pull in the relevant data from these five sources. Let's hit enter. And this is the output we get. As you can see, based on the sources provided, here are five SEO actions that Sheetify CRM should consider. Global SEO with AI. Maybe this is an SEO action I haven't thought about yet. I can also hover over this bubble and you can see the reference content as well as the source that this content has been pulled from. Diversify search optimization, such as YouTube, Amazon, and app stores. Again, we can see the reference material and the reference source. 
As you can see, you can use Notebook LM to quickly pull together all your resources and identify key outputs that you're after. This can save you a ton of time manually jumping between your different resources. Now it's important to note that Notebook LM is not trained on our data, meaning that if we exit out of this notebook, this particular note that we just generated, this output, will not be saved unless we navigate down to Save to Note, and that's gonna save the note to your notebook. So if you don't wanna lose this output, make sure that you save your notes. Now we can also copy this output and paste somewhere else. Let's navigate down here and add one more research prompt. What are the current SEO actions that Sheetify CRM is not engaging in? Please add these from most important to least important. And as you can see, this is the output that we receive. One point that stands out to me is content and on-page optimization. Sheetify CRM is not fully exploiting competitors' on-page SEO weaknesses. Actions to take include using the complete keyword phrase in the URL. Again, I can see the reference resources up here. Include the exact match phrase in the title tag and these other observations down here. I'm going to save this note and that's going to add the note over here. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you can create a podcast style audio, which turns all your resources from the left-hand side into an audio overview, a podcast style interview or discussion between two hosts. For example, let's click on generate. Give Notebook LM a moment to generate the conversation. Hey guys, just quickly, did you know that over 90% of you that enjoy our free educational content have not yet subscribed? It would mean a lot to me if you drop a comment or hit subscribe if you love what I'm creating. This helps us grow the channel and motivates me to create bigger and more impactful tutorials for you to consume for free. Okay, so with that happy note, thank you in advance, and let's get back to the video. Okay, so this audio output has now been generated. Let's go ahead and listen to this AI-generated podcast-style audio. Welcome to our uh, deep dive into all the SEO tips for 2025. We got a ton of articles and videos from you, like it's practically a mountain. Predictions and advice, all kinds of stuff. It's a lot. Yeah. We're going to help you cut through the noise today, pull out what's valuable, especially, you know, for your e-commerce business. Pretty impressive, right? As it just sounds like real people having a discussion. And Google has taken this to the next level with interactive mode. This allows you to sit back and listen and also engage, ask questions to in real time, get a response from the AI generated audio. Let's give this a go. All I need to do is navigate down here to play the audio. And then when I'm ready, all I need to do AI is click on join and ask a question. For example, Nathan Gotch, Crystal Carter, thank you search adventure. Oh wait, someone wants to join. Hey, go for it. Hey, so I just had a question about our Sheetify CRM business. Basically, we sell digital products. We sell a CRM, bookkeeping and projects toolkit. Now, can you give me the top three strategies I should implement today in order to grow my business and ultimately drive more sales? Wow, that's a great question. Yeah, and very specific to you. Okay, let's unpack this. So thinking about SEO for Sheetify CRM today. Right, using techniques that drive sales. I would say first, focus on really understanding your audience. Okay, like knowing their pain points. Exactly, and what they're searching for. So we're thinking like keyword research, right? Totally, but with a twist. Okay, I'm listening. Okay, let's pause this and close out of this. So again, like I mentioned, this audio overview is a very powerful feature that allows you to change the way that you engage in research and consume the output. Now, if we navigate down here, we can also add notes. These are the two notes we added earlier. We can also quickly add our own notes by simply crafting our notes here. Again, we can also do some research on the left-hand side by adding a prompt down here. As I showed you earlier, we could copy the note and paste some of that content over on the right hand side. You can also create an audio overview of this specific output. Okay, let's close this note. We can use AI to quickly generate a study guide, FAQ, a briefing document, or a timeline. And this will generate a timeline based on your resources. However, that is a brief overview of how you can get started with Notebook LM. As you can see, this will change the way that you engage in research. And for your business in particular, you can use Notebook LM to engage in SEO research like I just showed you, how to better position your business, you can identify trends, or even problems that your business is facing. You can build out reports, engage in competitive research, and creative brainstorming for your business. Notebook LM is a game changer for market research, upskilling, and for growing your business. Anyone can now use Notebook LM to bring all relevant information together and to consume that information using this powerful AI research and note-taking tool. 
And there we have it guys, that is it for this Notebook LM tutorial. Now if you have any questions about Google's Notebook LM, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.